If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be on the RX100. So actually what happened is uh, there was a small issue on the RX100 because of which now it is rendered useless. What has happened is uh, when I got this new silencer, I actually uh, kind of you know messed up this one thread on this stud. So what happened is it started spinning freely a bit and it is not getting torqued to full spec. So what I did is I put that uh, extra cylinder that we had which was unsleeved which we got same it's first oversize but I just wanted to see if you know that would improve anything but unfortunately there's a compression leak so looks like the rings are not seating properly so that one probably I will get it reboot to the next size and then I'll install it back on the bike but as of now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this cylinder back into where it belongs and let's see if that helps us run the bike so that is the plan so i'll put you guys on the tripod and then i'll start the work
see if it's So finally the RX100 is fixed so I actually took it out for a ride I actually took it for a, like a 5 km ride it's running as smooth as it used to be the exhaust note is little raspy right now because there is no carbon in that so because of which it is sounding little muffled uh, so once the carbon deposit happens it will start sounding little sweet but I actually went live on Instagram today so a couple of you guys must have heard um, how it sounds after the carburetor was tuned so this is like one of my most favorite bikes and plus the paperwork is complete as of now for the RX100 and the RD350 the RX that paperwork is in progress so right now I don't want to take a risk with that so once the RX100 stopped working I actually lost my daily ride bike which I used to take anywhere so uh, so that was a big uh, you know problem overall like I was getting way too much impacted because of that but now since it is working fine I'm happy um, so next I need to actually change the rims on that plus I am planning to paint the engine as well as the uh, front forks uh, so there is some work on that uh, there is another surprise which is going to come on the RX100 so this once it happens it will all be nice so i'm not going to give you any hints in this video uh, i badly need a shave and or trimming probably i started looking like a hermit which is not a good thing because my wife has also started saying that you know you you look like a homeless guy now so <laughs> get rid of your beard so I was hoping that probably you know during lockdown I could grow a beard and see how I look but I don't think it's a good idea so that is that other than that um, let me give you a quick update on the Shaolin so the Shaolin is almost complete uh, only thing is it is not idling right now because I think there is still um, some blockage in the carburetor it actually came with a blockage when it came to me but then uh, the funny thing is most of these you know uh, mechanics actually use any stupid tool that they have so when it came to me the pilot jet um, you know had completely been obliterated and you cannot even you know use a screwdriver on that so then I had to take it I got it drilled and I after that I cleaned it and I assembled the carburetor but looks like uh, there is still some blockage somewhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take apart the carburetor again and then fix it rest everything is complete the wiring is 100% done uh, I need to make a connector for the rear uh, brake light because the challenge is I'll show you so yeah uh, this is the Shogun I mean uh, yeah it's same as the Shogun wiring so this connector and look at the tail and connector there is almost like you know a one feet gap there so this is all it comes so what I have to do is I have to extend it till here so that I'll do using the old connectors which are there plus I'll cut this from the wiring loom so wiring loom is here uh, so that is the only thing pending plus I have to connect the brake switch for the rear and as well as front brake other than that there is nothing pending on this uh, so hopefully this can leave my garage in probably another 2-3 weeks um, other thing is the RD350 actually has a leak um, so you know there is an exhaust leak from the left side cylinder so what I'm thinking is probably I'll do a permanent fix right now like you know I'm, I'm more inclined towards a helicoil so once the shops open then what I'll do is I'll get a helicoil 
uh, made you know for it and then you know put that insert i'll also convert the i'll get a original rd350 stud and use that instead of the oversized stud which it has as of now and apart from that it will require some bit of plating like you know i have to remove the both the silencers i have to also change the uh, you know uh, rims on it so that is couple of things which needs to be done but with this covid situation things are not looking great all the shops are closed even you know can't get basic stuff like you know today i went out to buy some medicines and absolutely no medical shops were open so you know things are not good it's kind of scary um, if anybody told us couple of months ago that this is going to happen i don't think anybody would have believed so yeah let's let's pray for all of those guys who are on the front line and who are fighting this and hope that you know this thing gets over really soon somehow you know maybe there is some vaccination that comes out anyways so that is beyond our knowledge and capability to discuss so yeah let's talk bikes so that's about it i think you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video bye bye